whether you all know this. I mentioned it earlier. Lori's uh, very involved in the tech world, and she's leading some interesting initiatives at the Guild that, um, that will, I think, potentially change. We're working on some piracy things, and there's some very interesting things that are being led by Lori. Um, and I remember, um, I remember about five years ago, uh, Lori was talking about the way we would uh, see the content that's been made. And she said, you know, very soon we will be able to see the opening of a movie in your home, on a DVD, all at the same time. And the world is changing so rapidly. And that sounded interesting and it made sense to me, but we're now, we're, we're close. We're yep. really close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I, I want to talk a little bit about how the, the, the way we are being delivered, uh, content that's being delivered, how that's changing. Just because I think, you know, we all know that in a general sense what's going on, but I think Lori could share a little bit with us about how that's changing both technically and, and how that's affecting what we're doing, if it's affecting what we're doing, storytelling wise. Right, right. Well, I, it's definitely affecting what we're doing. I think in 2005, I was talking to you, which was 10 years ago, about we, we Morgan and I talk a lot about the future, and we, I have, because I was a computer scientist, I have friends who are still computer scientists. And um, so we're always looking at what's coming, what's coming, what's coming, what's coming. And it was really clear to us back then, um, in fact, we set up kind of a home in our office to take people through and show them these little screens. And I said, people are gonna be watching movies on these little screens. It looked like an old fashioned um, tape recorder. That's how big and clunky it was. People were like, no one is gonna watch a movie on a little screen like that. Um, and, and lo and behold, it, it's, we're now there. And I think that what is great for us is content and storytellers are the commodity now. It is not about having to have access to a theater, having to have access to the new technology. It's really about finding a great story. And it's bifurcating the global market so much that we can do niche programming, pro programs that we could have never done before, or stories we could have never told because we have a global audience that we can reach through the internet, and that tiny audience over in Europe and the tiny audience here, the tiny, tiny audience in all the different continents together makes a huge audience for us. So I'm excited about that. I think that, you, you guys know what Spotify is and Rhapsody Music is delivered that way. My, my prediction is that most of our film content is going to be streamed and all on demand and you'll have a subscription service and you'll get to see any movie, which is great for us because a lot of old movies that still yep. aren't available. Um, and so it'll be kind of in the Spotify world where you have a subscription and get an all you can eat. We have to worry as producers about what that does to our um, cash flow and our net profits on the other side. And we have to figure out a way to get to these technology companies to help us quantify how many people are actually watching a program that's in one of these um, all you can eat. Uh, it's, it's interesting.